Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable auto mount of new drives in Windows 10. So typically, Windows will automatically detect new drives that are connected and will assign a drive loader to that respective drive. So if you're going to disable the auto mount, it should not be able to automatically assign and give out drive letters. So should be a pretty straightforward process here and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So you're going to start by opening up the start menu, just off on the start button one time. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match should come back with Windows PowerShell. Right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, just left click on Yes. Now you want to go ahead and type in disk part, so D-I-S-K. Part, P-A-R-T, all one word. Hit enter on your keyboard or open that up and this should launch the disk part utility. And once you have a blinking cursor next to disk part, there's going to be two commands we could type. If you want to disable the auto mount, you're just going to type in auto mount, all one word, and then disable. So again, auto mount. A-U-T-O-M-O-U-N-T and then a space disable D-I-S-A-B-L-E hit enter your keyboard it will disable the automatic mounting of new volumes once you type that in now if you ever wanted to re-enable it just type in auto mount exactly the same thing as above except now you're going to do a space and type enable so E-N-A-B-L-E -E. so auto mount enable hit enter you're going to be enabling new volumes so again these commands work in reverse of one another so if you want to disable auto mount you're going to type the first one if you want to ever re-enable just type auto mount enable so pretty straightforward process there guys do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye